हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग द एम ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन ऑफ अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन एंड I will be giving you the questions on the same topic in second part also. So let us see what are the questions without wasting the time. Question number one: For a machine, the ratio of load lifted to the effort applied is known as a velocity ratio, b mechanical advantage, c friction. and the efficiency you know that this is the definition of mechanical advantage hence the correct answer is b mechanical advantage question number 2 the ma of a simple machine can a be greater than 1 b be less than 1 c not less than 1 d b equal to 1 now this is important you have to select the choice which will be most correct okay now the first choice is b greater than 1 yes it can be greater than 1 b is b less than 1 it cannot be less than 1 okay c not be less than 1 and d b equal to 1 it can be equal to 1 it can be greater than 1 so the correct option is not be less than 1 okay so when you say it cannot be less than 1 it can be greater than 1 it can be equal to 1 okay so the correct answer this is very important question where the options are confusing so the correct option is c not less than 1 question number 3 for a machine the ratio of displacement of effort to the displacement of load is known as a velocity ratio b mechanical advantage c friction and d efficiency this is the uh, definition of uh, velocity ratio hence the correct answer is a velocity ratio okay question number 4 the vr of a simple machine can a be greater than b less than c not less than and d b equal to just like previous question on ma this is also the same hence the most correct option is c cannot be less than 1 question number 5 the input of simple lifting machine is a the work done by load b the work done by effort c the work done by friction and d none of the above when we apply the effort effort moves through some distance while moving through the distance some work is done and that work done by the effort is known as input of the machine hence the correct answer is b work done by the effort question number 6 the output of the simple lifting machine is a the work done by load b the work done by effort c the work done by friction d none of the above when effort moves down load is lifted up so some work is done by load also and the work done by the load is nothing but output hence the correct option is a work done by the load question number 7 for a certain machine the input of the machine is 80 while the output of the machine is 60 the percentage efficiency will be a 133 b 100 c 75 d none of the above in a general sense efficiency is the ratio out output to input expressed as a percentage so here output is 60 input is 80 so 60 upon 80 multiplied by 100 will be 75 hence the correct answer is c 75 question number 8 the machine lifts a load of 1 kilo newton by applying an effort of 50 newton the ma of the machine will be a 0.02 b 20 c 0.05 d none of the above 
now you know that ma is load lifted upon effort applied load you will have to convert in newton 1000 upon 50 which will be 20 hence the correct answer is b 20. question number nine while lifting a load using a machine the load lifts up by one centimeter when the effort moves down by 25 centimeter the vr of the machine will be a 0.04 b 20 c 25 d none of the above now according to definition of velocity ratio it is the ratio of the displacement of effort and displacement of load both are given 25 upon 1 is 25 hence the correct answer is c 25 question number 10 a machine lifts a load of 1 kilo newton by applying an effort of 50 newton if the velocity ratio of the machine is 25 then the efficiency of the machine will be a 80 percent b 60 percent c 125 percent d none of the above now here load is given effort is given vr is given so use the formula percentage efficiency is w into 100 upon p into vr and substitute the values of load effort and vr you will get the answer as 80 percent hence the correct answer is a 80 percent question number 11 with the usual notations the law of practical machine is a p is equal to mw minus c b p is equal to mw plus c c p is equal to mw d none of the above now we know that p is equal to mw c is the law of machine where p is the effort w is the load m is the slope of the graph and c is the initial friction so the correct answer is b p is equal to mw plus c question number 12 in the law of machine c indicates a the friction initial friction in the machine b the effort at no load c the effort lost in friction at zero load and d all the above now c which is the intercept on y axis represents the internal friction initial friction it represents the effort required to lift no load it also represents the effort lost in friction at zero load therefore the correct answer is d all the above question number 13 with the usual notation the law of an ideal machine is a p is equal to m w minus c b p is equal to m w plus c c p is equal to m w d none of the above now for ideal machine we know that friction is zero therefore the law will be p is equal to mw hence the correct answer is c p is equal to mw question number 14 which of the following are properties of an ideal machine a efficiency of the machine is 100 percent b friction in the machine is zero c ma and vr is equal and d all the above now for an ideal machine there is no friction so efficiency is 100 percent friction is zero and as there is no friction input and output are equal so ma and vr is equal therefore the correct answer is d all the above question number 15 for a simple machine with usual notation the ideal load is calculated as a p upon v r b p into v r c w upon v r and d w upon v r okay now we know that ideal load is calculated as p into v r hence the correct answer is b p into v r question number 16 for a simple machine with the usual notation the ideal effort is calculated as ap upon vr bp into vr cw into vr and dw upon vr now the ideal effort is calculated as w upon vr hence the correct answer is d w upon vr question number 17 a machine having vr of 25 lifts a load of 1 kilo newton by an effort of 50 newton the load lost in friction in newton will be a 100 b 10 c 250 and d 25 now the formula for effort lost in 
लोड लॉस्ट इन फ्रिक्शन इज पी इन टू वी आर माइनस डब्ल्यू पी इज नोन वी आर इज नोन डब्ल्यू इज नोन यू विल गेट द आंसर एज टू फिफ्टी न्यूटन हेज द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी टू फिफ्टी न्यूटन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन अ मशीन हैविंग वी आर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव लिफ्ट अ लोड ऑफ वन किलो न्यूटन बाय एन एफर्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी न्यूटन The effort lost in friction in Newton will be a hundred, b ten, c two fifty, and d twenty five. Again, the formula for effort lost in friction is P minus W upon V R. P is known, W is known, V R is known. If you put all the things, you will get the answer to be ten Newton. Hence, the correct answer is B ten. Question number nineteen. While lifting a load of one kilo Newton by a machine. The ideal load is 1.25 kilo newton. The efficiency of the machine will be a 60 percent, b 125 percent, c 80 percent, and d 40 percent. Now, here it is important to understand clearly when we write the expression for efficiency, it is W into 100 divided by P into V R. Now, if you rearrange the terms properly, okay. Here, ideal load and ideal uh, actual load is given. Okay, so actual load is in the numerator that is W. P into V R is in denominator that is uh, uh, in denominator. Therefore, efficiency you can write as actual load upon ideal load. So, if you put one upon one point twenty five. You will get the answer as eighty percent. Hence, the correct answer is C eighty percent. You have to write down, and then you will understand it. Okay. Question number twenty. A machine lifts a certain load applying an effort of fifty newton. If the ideal effort is forty newton, the efficiency of the machine will be A eighty percent, B fifty percent, C one twenty five percent, and D sixty percent. Here again, you write the same expression: W into 100 upon P into V R, and W upon V R will be P I. Hence, the expression for efficiency will be P I upon P multiplied by 100. And here, P I is given as 40, P is given as 50. Hence, the answer will be 80 percent. Hence, the correct answer is A 80 percent. thank you remaining questions i will be covering in the next part okay so if you like this video please give the likes share it to your friends and subscribe for my channel pressing bell icon for all thank you